Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have a haul video for you today. Now this is stuff that Kathy and I have a couple things in here too, but mostly Kathy has found over the past week or so just sourcing here and there from various places. So I'm going to turn it over to Kathy and she's going to show you what we got to resell. Hey guys, yeah, if you watch our What Sold, you've probably seen this piled up for a yep. few days. So <laughs> finally the kids are napping. It's still fall break. Today's the last day, thank God. Well, last weekday, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we still have the weekend. Uh, I just, we all do good with routine, so. Yeah. Anyways. And our our fall break is two weeks. Yeah. I think typically <laughs> a fall break or, a, a, you Three know. Three days. <laughs> a break for kids, yeah. Any kind of, like, spring break is like a week. Yeah. Ours are all two weeks, so it's. Um, double the fun Everyone's out of, it's, it's about a week of fun and a week of like oh is this over yet what are we gonna do <laughs> yeah all right oops so yeah we'll just jump right in like chris said it's from various places so i found these new balance like women's velcro sneakers these will probably sell right around 40 i would say plus shipping I'm trying to put everything here to make it organized yeah, I think last time we had a bunch of snow boots, which didn't work out. We got a few boots in here, but mostly some good sized shoes. <laughs> um, these are some Clarks I mainly picked up because they're basically like new. I don't always pick up Clarks, but if they're in really good shape or if they're really cheap, I will grab them. So these, oh, I didn't say, just in case anyone sees something. All these New want. Balance. Um, sizes, these are your women's eight and a half with a two E, so a little bit extra wide. And then these Clarks are a seven and a half wide. So I love those wide widths too. Um, sometimes I would buy shoes just for a wide width because even if it's not a great brand, people need the wide widths. All right, um, those Clarks will probably sell right around, I wanna say $30 plus shipping, but probably between the 25 to 30 plus shipping mark. Uh, these are Saludos. I've only sold this brand maybe one other time and it was a pair of slippers. These are just like some espadrilles. They're really cute. Those are cool, yeah. Um, they're size seven and a half women's. Not really sure. I didn't look up comps. They were just a good enough price. I knew I could make some money off of them. I'm gonna say 25, 30 plus shipping off of those. We'll see. And yeah, I'm hoping to get at least, I've been on a roll of listing 15 a day. Yeah. Uh, I haven't really missed in about two weeks, so. Hoping to at least have 15 of these listed right. today, and by the time you guys see the video, hopefully. And that's with the kids at home and me yeah. working on the floor. So it's so it's, it's like if you can get 15 a day on yeah. in these conditions, <laughs> you should be able to do it when things are optimum. Yep. No problem. But I haven't been able to build up my draft bank, right. which is what the whole goal was. Yeah. But at least I can maintain. So uh, this is another pair of Clarks. Again, I just grabbed them because they were in like super duper good shape. And these are like slip resistant work shoes. They are a women's 11, so also a pretty good size. And I think those will sell right around $30 plus shipping. All right, we got some Dance Go Mary Janes. These are a size 39, so like a, I think that's like an eight, eight and a half maybe. A um, little dirty on the insoles, but otherwise good shape. The leather looks really good. The soles look really good. So those will probably sell 35 to 40 plus shipping. Else. We got some Skechers. You know I love my Skechers as much as I love my Crocs. Um, these are just like a little running shoe, super lightweight. These will probably sell again right around 30 plus shipping. Oh, what size are we at? These are your women's 10. Don't know where the match to this is, but these Sorel boots um, always sell well. These, this is a you three, they'll probably sell around $40 plus shipping. I do need to clean these up just a tad bit. Yeah, I think I see it see hidden it? under there. <laughs> All right. So that's those. And this is a brand I've never picked up in shoes. I may have sold a purse or two. It's just Fossil. Um, and these are like a men's Oxford. I didn't even know that Fossil made shoes. I just thought these were nice. I love the like, this is not cap toe, but like, just like wingtip Oxfords. I yeah. just think they look really nice. So the leather feels nice. They feel like a really good quality shoe. They're a men's nine. This one needs a little cleaning, but otherwise really good shape. So yeah, That's I didn't cool. know Fossil made shoes either. Yeah. I, I thought they were a watch brand. <laughs> I didn't really look at I know they made wa uh, wallets and stuff, yeah. but 
Yeah, they have uh, their purses sell really well. Um, I just don't really like selling purses, so. <laughs> um, I didn't look up comps. I'm gonna say 30 to 40 plus shipping, but we'll see when they sell. All right, some more Skechers. These ones, the little slip-ons seem to sell really good, like really fast. These are a women's seven. They'll probably sell right around $25, $30 plus shipping and probably in the first week that they're listed. And these are some women's Sanook, size nine. Just like a purple kind of metallic-y slip-on. Um, Sanooks, they don't always sell super fast, but they usually sell for 25, 30 bucks plus shipping. So I always grab them if they're cheap enough and in good shape. A lot of those, cause like the soles are pretty, and they get yeah. worn down easily. So if the sole is too bad, I leave them. These are those kind of like Converse where they have like the felty bottom? They do have a felty bottom, yeah. yeah. So this a little a bit of the felt bottom. is missing, but like you'll see like where this is completely smooth. I yeah. would probably leave those if they're super smooth. That's like really slippery. All right, more Skechers. These are the ones that I would recommend anyone pick up if they're cheap enough at the thrift. Um, those look like hokas. Yeah, so they're like a hoka lookalike. That's what I would call them. Yeah. But the Ultra Goes, these ones sell for a, like usually forty to fifty dollars plus shipping. So uh, these are a women's nine and a half and really good shape. So I think I can get a good amount for those at, at least forty dollars plus shipping on those ones. So. Alrighty, got some Adidas Boost. I love the colorway on these, the red, white, and blue. Um, yeah, all the other Boost I've sold, I've done well. The, that pair I sold recently for, what, 96 bucks yeah. or something. Those, I got rated on Mercari yesterday and got my money, so. And those were a more plain color. Do you yeah, think the more gray. vibrant would do better, or? I don't know, I remember I paid up for these at Salvation Army. I think I paid like 20 bucks or something for them, but. I'm hope so. I'm hoping yeah. <laughs> that they sell for a good amount, but even to pay twenty to sell for like fifty to sixty, I'm okay with that. Yeah. So I didn't really look up comps that <clears> much, <throat> other than most boosts are selling for at least fifty dollars plus shipping if they're in good shape. So I think that these will do okay. I'm hoping for closer to like eighty or 70, so. 80, yeah. Um, but yeah, they're a men's ten. Just gonna do a little tiny bit of thinning. It's a good but, size too, you know? Yeah, 10. I heard someone say the other day that's like the most common men's size is a 10. I don't know if that's true, but I would think It's that's a very common true, size, yeah. I think, if not the it most common. It definitely sells fast when I sell that size. All right, we got some Merrill Mary Jane brown leather. These can probably just use a little of the Doc Martens Wonder Balsam on them, but Otherwise, decent shape. The treads are pretty good, so. Um, looks like they got some glitter on the insoles, though. Recently, I've been, like, if if the insole's dirty but the shoe's good, I'll just throw this in the washing machine and then, like, let it sit to dry. I haven't ruined a pair yet, but <laughs> do it at your own discretion. I'm not a professional by any means, so. <laughs> you um, just play one on TV? Yeah. <laughs> uh, these are... Uh, ten and a half women. So once we just buff them up just a little, I think these can sell for about thirty-five to forty plus shipping. All right. What else? This was um Chris found. Yeah. Uh, just a cool U.S. New puzzle. in box, sealed. Yeah. Perfect for this time of year. I'm sure someone will grab that for a Christmas gift or yeah. something. Yeah. So. I think my mom actually had that puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. License plates of all the states. So. Uh, do you remember what? I think comps were like 25 free ship. I can't remember, but okay. it was like two or three bucks. Yeah. So <laughs> we'll see. I'm hoping for yeah. 20. I mean, two photos, is, yeah. you know, if it's, if it's $10 <laughs> profit, that's good enough for me. Yep. These are from Play-Dohs. Uh, these are just the men's Uggs. I think these are called the new Mel Chucka boots or something. I don't know. Um, I think I can get 50 to 60 plus shipping on those. They're nice leather, men's size 13, really good shape on the bottom. So yeah, perfect time of year to list those. Hopefully they sell quickly. All right, also got these at Play-Dohs. They're just a men's foot joy golf cleat, size nine and a half. It's like, a, I don't know, are these still called cleats when they're like, I don't know, just like plasticky. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
I don't know anything about golf. <laughs> I guess most, um, I mean, even baseball and cleat, most of them are not actually metal anyways, huh? Right. So, yeah, these are just really nice, uh, little dirty. I'll clean them up a tiny bit, but mostly good shape. Foot joy cleats have been selling well for me all summer. Don't know if they're going to sell great in the fall, winter time, but we'll see. Um, I think at the very least 30, but probably more like 35, 40 plus ship off of those. We've had pretty good luck with Foot Joy. Yeah, and these are nicer than most of the others I've sold. Those do have a different kind of base, though, huh? Yeah, the, and I, the but cleat I think on the it. people like the lightweight ones, yeah. too, so well, we shall see. We'll see. <laughs> uh, these are some nice Clarks, like, uh, what would you call these? Uh, I guess ankle a booty. booty, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, really good shape and perfect for this time of year. They're kind of like, they're, I would say they're brown, but they're almost like a burgundy. Burgundy-ish, yeah, a little so red maybe. into it. These are women's 11, really good shape. I want to say I can get 35 to 40 plus ship out of those, but we'll see. Yeah, don't take any of the numbers I'm saying <laughs> and go buy $15 shoes thinking you could sell them for 50 because I yeah. will take, I take offers and all this other stuff. So I'm just telling you my a hopeful expectation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and if you do want to see how much this sell for, definitely check out our Wetzel videos. We do go over all the cost of goods and sell price and all that kind of stuff yeah. when we do that. When we do those Wetzels, so if that's something you're interested in, go check them out. We do them almost every day. <laughs> um, this is a new to me brand, but it kind of reminded me of a mini Melissa or like a Melissa adult jelly shoe. So the brand is UN. What is it? United, United Nude. Nude. Um, yeah, I can't remember the comps, but they were good. So these were, I think, seven, six ninety nine or something. So I think the comps were like forty to fifty, maybe plus shipping, maybe even a tiny bit more than that. These do look like they have a little, not damage, but like some glitter on the mm. heel. I don't know if I can get that off, but otherwise, good shape. And they're a size forty one, so I think that's like a nine and a half, ten. So good size. Those look cool. They're all so, faceted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gem kind of shoes. I'm excited to see how those do. I like trying out new brands. So we shall see. And this was another new brand that I found, which the only reason I even looked these up is because they just looked interesting. Like I never heard of them. Um, what were they called? Native Earth. And then I saw, well, this one, it's faded, but right here. I saw that like the size was just a sticker, which generally to me is like handmade or something. Yeah, like handmade, like an Etsy product yeah. or something, and which a lot of times can be worth something. So a more natural brand it seems, right? Like yeah. A... So I looked them up, and they are like a handmade moccasin, although they okay. have their own website and everything. So not too small, I guess, like right. like Etsy shops. But uh, yeah, these were only three ninety nine, and I think the comps were like. 50 plus wow. um these retail for like 150 i think it's just well it's handmade crazy. is not cheap <laughs> you um, know for sure that took someone a long time to make these and yeah the leather feels really nice i'm gonna pick some rocks out of the bottoms but otherwise really good shape um and yeah they're one in six so i'm excited to see how those do but yeah anything interesting if you've never heard of it out it takes two seconds to look up a comp, and yeah. a lot of times it pays off. So, well, I haven't sold them yet, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll I know see. that those are going to sell, even if they sell for 30 bucks, right. it's a good profit. So, yeah, and at the cost, you said what, 350 yeah. Four bucks, yeah, like so. you got to experiment <laughs> at least. For sure. Um, another pair of Clarks, this is like a Chelsea boot. These aren't in the super best shape, but these were kind of cheap. So, um, I think the style of boot usually does well. These are a women's something or other. Uh, seven and a half wide, so that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna say 25, 30 plus ship on those just cause they're not in the super best condition. All right, these I got from Play-Dohs. Um, they're just in men's reef flip-flops, new with tag, no box, but they're men's eight. I think I can get 25 to 30 plus ship out of those, even though they're just flip flops. They're really nice and comfortable looking. Um, but yeah, Play-Dohs, I do pay up for stuff, but it's generally in really good shape like this. Yeah. So um, actually just last night, which will be in our wet sold, you may or may not see before this video. We bought a pair of Ugg slippers there. They looked brand new. We did pay 25 for them, but they sold for 75. So more yeah. than double my money, but didn't have to do any work other than take a few pictures. 
yeah, sometimes it's worth paying up for Just not having to work. do that work, that yeah. extra work, you know. And like Play-Doh's generally has a lot better brands just sitting there waiting for you to find like Ugg and stuff versus yeah. just Clarks and whatnot. So uh, these are a pair of Merrill, like a Mary Jane. These are women's six. Overall great shape, although the insoles are really disgusting. So those will Yeesh. go in the washing machine. Um, but yeah, just spray some OxyClean and throw them in. Do you do any kind of soak or anything? Uh, I don't really. They usually just come clean yeah. or clean-ish. Um, they'll definitely look better than this. I might try to do maybe some before and after pictures for my Insta story or something. But yeah, those should, once I clean them up, um, I would say around $30 plus shipping. Right. These I almost passed on because I you, I don't know if you can tell the toes are a little bit wrinkled. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, a little creased or something. On the inside, it's not very noticeable, so I took a chance. I think they were only about four bucks. So. Yeah, and these are like a Vibram, not Vibram, Vibram. These are Marils, but they're like a barefoot shoe. That's what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah. So barefoot shoes just do well no matter really what the brand. Um, they're women six, so kind of a smaller size, but usually these sell for forty dollars plus shipping. So even with the issues, four bucks. Even if I get twenty plus shipping, that's still good yeah. enough for me. And I think we were gonna try to like take a hair dryer to that and maybe try to yeah. massage it from the inside. Yeah. See if we can get some of that. Maybe put some paper here out. and whatnot. So if but any yeah. of you guys have any ideas on how to get rid of that, that would be yeah. I normally pass great on if you shoes shared it like with us. this, but yeah. I figured this was worth taking a chance on. Sometimes if I do have like a damaged shoe, like I don't want to call it a damaged shoe because it honestly looks like it's been hardly worn. Um, right. Sometimes if there's something that I think somebody might complain about, even if obviously I'm going to disclose it, but I may not list them on eBay because like people could open a return request. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't want to deal with that. But on Posh and stuff, they pay for the return shipping if someone does that. So sometimes yeah. I just skip listing on eBay things that I think might cause somebody a problem. Yeah. I mean, the different platforms definitely have different yeah. types of buyers. <laughs> so Mercari and Poshmark. Worst case, someone opens a return, says this shoe's messed up. They get a free return label from Mercari. I get my item yeah. back, and then I can either. And obviously, you'll. Yeah, you'll I'm photograph gonna... it and show it as best you can. Yes. So it's not going to be like a surprise. <laughs> right. But that does, she's, you know, you're basically saying that leaves them an out if they want to return yeah. it. Like if they don't <laughs> like them, they can say, hey, it has this problem. Yeah. You know. So, yeah, eBay, even though I will have already said that in the description, they don't care. Right. They're going to make you yeah, give eBay. them a return label or a refund. So. eBay don't care. Yeah. <laughs> um, those types of shoes sell really fast no matter where I list them. So I'll just try the other two platforms first. Um, another pair of Clarks. Apparently, I liked Clarks this last couple <laughs> weeks. Uh, these are cool, though. They kind of almost remind me of a Rothy. They're like a knit oh, yeah. shoe. What size are these? Uh, eight and a half, just regular width. But yeah, um, like perfect condition. Otherwise, I'm going to try for a little bit more on these, maybe 35 to 40 plus ship, just because of the condition. And they just seem comfortable and more like trendy. I don't know if I'd call those trendy, but you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, Alright, I also paid up for these at Salvation Army, but the last pair of bean boots that I sold, sold for like 80 bucks, I think. So, um, it was worth it, hopefully. They're still selling for that. They're a size 11. I don't know, look, what do you think? Do you think that's an M? Because then on this one, I feel like it looks like an N. <laughs> Like, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah. now I don't know if they're narrow or medium, but. <laughs> one looks like an N and one looks like an M. I don't know if just one of the lines peeled off. Right. Or, what, or if I'm, this one could be an N too. I don't know. They don't seem narrow at all. Like, not at all. <laughs> so right. I don't know. That could become an issue. Hopefully not. But otherwise, these are, I believe, a men's 11. I'll have Chris try them on, but. Yeah. I don't like when shoes don't have the euro sizing and stuff to compare that. Right. All, but I did hold them up to a men's 10 boot and they seemed a little bit bigger. So I'm like 99% sure they're men's and they do have the fur line. The last ones I sold were women's and did not have that. And I feel like I said at that time, that was like a year ago, that the ones with fur do even better. Right. So we'll see. Pretty um, hopeful on these. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping for at least like 80 bucks on those. That'd be awesome. 
really awesome. Alrighty, these are like a almost like new pair of New Balance. And they are a men's 11 with 4E, so really, really wide. And yeah, I'm gonna hope for like 50 plus shipping, maybe even a little more on those, we'll see. I don't know if there are any of the special models, I don't think so, just a 381, I don't know. <laughs> there are some New Balances that are crazy. Yeah. But don't believe it's these ones, but again, the wide widths do sell for more money when I find them. Uh, these are just a Birkenstock, like a club, rubber. Oh, know. those aren't I Crocs. I feel like these are more <laughs> like a gardening type of shoe. I don't know. Different than most Birks. Yeah. Um, these also came from Play-Dohs, and they put the sticker right there, which ripped off the size. Mm. Thankfully, these ones have it on the bottom. Right. So these are 41, so a men's 8 or a women's 10. I've sold these several times before. I think I can get at least 50 plus shipping out of them. I've sold them even without the, because these have like the Hensel. Oh, yeah. Um, I've sold them even without this for like over 30 plus shipping. Mm. So. All right. Another pair of Skechers. I haven't sold this model before, although they seem nice, um, super lightweight. They almost kind of seem like an Adidas boost, like the, the foamy stuff right there. Yeah. Uh, these are also a women's nine and a half. I kind of want to put these in the washer because like this is a little dirty, but I'm scared because this is super <laughs> squishy and light. I don't know what water would do to that. So I don't know. I may attempt to do that and knowing that I might ruin them, but just I mean, choose future. the that foam has to be fairly waterproof, right? Like, yeah, I mean, if you're walking, if you're running, at, yeah. even in water, yeah, it would make sense to have a not <laughs> waterproof sole yeah. for athletic shoes. Because like I could wipe this myself, but like to clean up this part of the shoe, I right. like, wouldn't really come clean unless I put it in the washing machine. So yeah, they're gonna go in the washing machine. I'll let you know <laughs> if I ruin them. Uh, but yeah, women's nine and a half. I think I can get 35, 40 bucks plus shipping out of those. Shape Ups, my favorite. Not really. I do like selling them. Uh, these are women six and a half. They're going to use a tiny bit of cleaning, but not much. Um, those should sell, I would say, 30 to 40 plus ship. They're a smaller size, so probably more in the 30 plus ship range. Yeah, and I always say it, but make sure you do the squeeze test on Shape Ups just to make sure no crumbling happens. Yeah. Shape Ups are notorious for crumbling on the soles. Yep. Which we haven't really seen much, but uh, it's it happens because everyone that we talk to says they've yeah. seen it. So, <laughs> hey, more for us to sell because <laughs> everyone else is like, as soon as it happens, they're like, we're not selling those again. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I had a buyer in Canada recently on a pair of Shape Up. She's like, do you have any more? Because she was already paying the global shipping mm -hmm. price, and like she said, these are the only shoes she wears, and she can't find them anywhere. Because they don't make them anymore. Right. So. Um, and she was like a women's 10. And I said, I don't have any more right now, but I find them from time to time. I'll let you know. And yeah. I don't think I found that size again. But yeah, people are out there looking for those. So, all right. Um, these are just some play shoes. These are called the Emmy Mary Janes. They're a toddler, little girl size 12. These usually sell right around 25, 30 bucks. Plus shipping for me. Really great shoe for kids almost indestructible like you can pretty much wear those like all year and they still look pretty nice <laughs> uh this was cool i you guys see me sell teva sandals all the time but i didn't know they made boots like this all those are tevas yeah nice um i'm kind of excited to see how these do i did pay up a little more than i would have liked but i was wanting to see i, I know i'll make profit either yeah. way um they're a men's 10 so good size again Really good shape. Yeah, I feel like so. that could sell either really, really well or not at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Just because Teva, yeah. you, you never know. Once you kind of go outside of the the, yeah. the norm with the brands. Feeling like they don't have insoles. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. I mean, they could still be worn like this. So that'll yeah. be fun. Experiment. Learn some things. 
found these men's ultra running shoes. I don't find this brand a ton, but when I do, it usually sells pretty okay. Um, these are men's eight and a half. I'm gonna think around $40 or so plus shipping on those. All right, these are Mephisto, which I feel like in the past all I've sold of this brand is um, women's, but these are like a men's loafer. So yeah, uh, this brand retails for a ton. Like these are probably 200 plus dollars new. Wow. Um, overall, pretty decent shape. The leather has some scuff marks, but I think even with the damage, they'll still do well. They're women, no, men's 11 and a half. And I didn't look up comps, but I just knew the brand was good and decided to grab them. I don't know, I'm gonna hope for a 50 plus but I think I got them cheap enough to where if they get 30 plus ship, that's still good enough. Yeah, and we have some like boot cream that we use on stuff like those dress shoes and that can make those cover those, so yeah, blend them in. It, it sure. does really nice. Mm -hmm. So just different colors of or shades of brown yeah. <laughs> and they work well. Um, so these, I almost left, but these just sell so well for me that even though I'm gonna have to clean up the insoles, it's probably gonna be worth it. So, uh, you can see these were six bucks and I might have averaged my cost to get. So if you see the what's old and I say I paid like eight or whatever, that's because I averaged, but, yeah. um, yeah, you can see the footbeds are really gross. You. But otherwise the tread is good and I feel like people put powder on their feet. I don't know. I don't even want to know, but uh, yeah, they're a good size. They're like a 42. So these could be like a smaller men or like a women's 11 and a half or something, I think. Mm. So uh, yeah, I've sold like probably four or five pairs of these this summer for 45 to $55 plus shipping. Uh, the brand is Echo, E-C-C-O, and yeah, I'm going to clean those up. And I did want to mention, because I've left a lot of these at the thrift this summer, because right in here, they all have this, so I assume that that little, like right there, how it's oh, kind yeah. of like open on both sides. Yeah. Every single pair I've sold has had that, so I think it comes like that, but some of them have been really like damaged in there, so I would just say if you find these, check that check little that spot, spot out. Yeah. So. But yeah, these, if you find them in good shape, definitely grab them, or if you don't mind cleaning, definitely grab them. They sell great. Yeah, I wonder if that white stuff is chalk. It like if, be, yeah. if that's like a, a rock climber or bouldering yeah. shoe. I, I imagine they have different shoes that they wear while they're rock climbing yeah. and stuff. And but. those sandals are leather, so I can't wash them in the washing machine, but we have like a little scrubby yeah. brush that. We'll just scrub the insoles and then let them set to dry. They'll clean up nice. Uh, this is a Cole Haan, just a loafer. I don't buy all Kohan, but I thought these were nice enough. And they're a men's nine and a half. So I think I can get 35, 40 plus shipping out of those. All right, these are some Ariat boots. They probably need just uh, something stuck up in there. Just, they're kind of wrinkly, but otherwise good shape. I mean, the soles aren't really worn down or anything. So, uh, I mean, I've sold several Ariats in the $100 range, although these show quite a bit more wear than any other pairs I've sold. So I'm gonna say 50, maybe 60 plus shipping out of those, but we'll see. Yeah, and if you're trying to photograph them, you can shove a couple pool noodles. Yeah, pool noodles, or recently, because I think I've lost all of our pool noodles, I've just used some of our packing paper yeah. and then save it to the side to pack some orders with. So um, these are a men's nine and a half. So yeah. <laughs> shelf. All right. Um, I never sold this brand, and they're kind of dirty, so I probably should have passed, but I was just curious, and I hate leaving anything that says Gore-Tex, so. Yeah. These are the brand Gar Garment. Garment? Garment. Isn't that like the, what are those little things, that the GPS things? Oh, Garmin? Garmut? Mutt? Is there a T in there? Jeep? Yeah. No, that, the GPSs are Garmin. Those are like oh. the GPS and like the watch. That brand? Like athletic watch. That's not the same thing? No, oh, there okay. would be no T. It's Alrighty. A, well, I thought it was like those. <laughs> I thought that that kind of reminds me of like the Marmot jacket. 
Where, uh, Garment. Garment, Marmot. I don't know. Maybe it's a brother company <laughs> or something. I don't know. <laughs> they're a nice shoe for sure. Um, the tread's great. Vibram Soles, Gore-Tex. Yeah. They're just dirty. So, I don't know. I hope I can make some profit here, but we'll see. Um, they're a men's 12, so decent size. So, yeah. We'll see how those do. It's got the Vibram and the Gore-Tex, yeah. so... I mean, these were probably a 150 plus yeah. to begin with. So to get them even for like 40, 50, hopefully somebody wants them. All right. And I actually found two pairs of these, just a one size difference. They're both Echo men's loafers. Oh, yeah. Um, I just love the brand Echo. Like, I never heard of it till I became a reseller, and now I find it all the time, and it sells great. So these are uh, men's 45. I don't really know the men's size is that great, and these are 44, so. Euro sizing? Yeah. Um, yeah, they don't put their US sizes on here, so I always have to Google the chart, but I think I can get 40 plus out of these plus shipping, so. And anytime we do that where there's no US sizing, Kathy does make sure to put a size chart in the listing so that they can kind of reference that and not have to look it up themselves. Mm -hmm. But just as one of the photos, yeah, the other day I did one wrong, actually, in a buyer. Uh -oh. Like, these are, well, thankfully, she told me before she bought them. Oh, gotcha. She was like, can you double check? I thought that a 41 was a women's 10 or something for some Alegrias. Mm. And I was like, oh, crap. So I look it up, and, yep, she was right. So I <laughs> put this eye chart in. I didn't have it in there. And then I told her, and she bought them, and she gave me a love note and positive feedback. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> glad that all worked out. Um, these are a women's, I thought these were men's at first, but they're women's, Nike, I don't know what kind these are, oh, these are the Cross Bionic, so, I don't think I've sold like this model Cross before. Like or something? I don't know, some they have like that interesting sole that does some well. Some kind of workout shoe, it Kind of like, like those hyper feels that we sold yesterday for 50 something to yeah. ship, so. These are women's. I feel like women's don't sell for as much as men's shoes, but right. I think I can get 30, 35 plus ship out of those. They were women's nine. I don't know if I said that. Um, these are some men's chacos. They are missing the insoles, although what is in the shoe feels squishy enough that I think they could be worn without or you could add your own. I don't buy all shoes without insoles. I pass on a ton. The thrift stores are full of shoes without insoles, yeah. but I'll buy some. Um, these I thought were worth it, mostly because they're chaco, really good shape. Otherwise, um, I bought Brooks and some running yeah. shoes. Yeah, running shoes Hoka's. do well. Yeah, because they People add their own. They usually have their own, or they so. like to. Yeah. And runners. a lot of like even comfort shoes, sometimes people will add their own. So yeah. it just depends. I don't have a hard and fast rule about right. what I do and do <laughs> not pick up, but I just use my best discretion. So these are a men's 13. I think even without the insoles, I can get. $40 plus shipping out of these. All right. Almost through the shoes. It's gonna fall. <laughs> Alrighty. These, I forgot what they were called, but they're Adidas. They have a oh, funny yeah. name for the style. I thought these were cool. Um, they are a women's seven and a half, and I think I can get around $40 plus shipping out of these ones. They are a little dirty, but otherwise pretty good shape. I saw some comps much dirtier and still selling in the $40 range, so. Are those the shoes that were banned from like the Olympics or something? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think those were Nikes. Oh, were they Nikes? But. They have that long <laughs> heel where it like pokes out, so that's kind of oh, reminding yeah. reminded me of those. <laughs> Um, these are Cole Haan Zero Brands, really, really good shape. I think Chris grabbed these. They're yeah. men's ten and a half. We found these up in Woodland Park, Colorado when we, when our son was on, well, last week, fall break. Yeah. Um, he got to go to Cave of the Winds, and it's kind of far from our house, so we took the rest of the day and just went down to Woodland Park, thrifted, yeah. hung out. Up in the mountains. Yeah. <laughs> Took some pictures. Tried to get some breakfast at a place and it was closed. <laughs> <laughs> Always something. It's like, oh no, we're closed on Wednesdays. Like <laughs> some random day of the week. <laughs> right. Who closes on Wednesdays? <laughs> um, so Colon Zero Grands do really well. Uh, the last two pairs I've sold went for 60 plus and they were a much smaller size and a random color. Like, I feel like blue they have like somewhere. red soles and blue soles. Yeah, yeah. These are more of a, I feel like this can kind of match. 
yeah more neutral so i'm hoping yeah definitely 60 dollars plus shipping I'm, i think but we'll see and I found them, but I'm sure she would have found them if she got there yeah. first. <laughs> so. I was looking through women's. He was looking through men's. It's, Even though I like selling men's more than women's. Um, we actually found a, a lot of decent stuff at that Woodland yeah. Park one. Which, that's the one where I got that Pendleton, or a that Beaver, back, yeah. <laughs> Beaver State blanket, yeah. Yep. It's definitely in a little mountain town. Uh, these are just some Dansko sneakers, size 42, so a larger size, I think, like an 11 and a half to 12. I think I can get around $40 plus ship out of those. And these are more Echo. These are a nice Mary Jane, just a black classic shoe, size 42. So again, a bigger size. Got a I little think heel I can on get, it. Yeah, 35, 40 plus ship out of those. Really good shape. Is that all the shoes? I think so. That's all That's the shoes. The whole rack of shoes. <laughs> Perfect, actually. <laughs> Um, this is an ashtray. Chris grabbed it. We've seen others do well with it. Commonwealth. Commonwealth I think he might be the only one that sells ashtrays. Well, I was going to say maybe Nurse Flipper, but. Oh, yeah, maybe. She does a lot of glass. So probably, yeah, I'm the, the green kind of caught my eye, and. Yeah. It's an ashtray, it so. Probably won't sell for a ton, but we'll try it out. Yeah, if it doesn't sell, you know, my, my brother smokes cigars and stuff, so it'll, it could be a nice gift if it doesn't sell, but it was, <laughs> what, like two bucks, so. Yeah. There were comps going for like 20 bucks, so. We will see how it does. Ah, so this is a vintage. It says 2000 on it. It's just Hanes, basic black sweatshirt, but I've seen people selling these plain old, even though you could like buy a new one at Walmart for probably like <laughs> right. 588. I don't know, people like vintage for some reason. Um, I mean, there were some sold comps on eBay, even for used ones of this for like 25 plus shipping, so. I'm hoping for at least that, maybe 25, 30 plus shipping, but if it sells for 20 plus yeah. ship, that's fine. Like, I think people like getting vintage clothing that's blank like that because they can have their own designs put on there. Yeah, it's just like not obviously vintage. Once you turn right. the tag off, it's, right. I mean, this tag kind of looks old, but the thing that says 2000 is on here. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird to me, but Worth I will a shot. sell anything. Uh, this is a nice Rockies t-shirt. Um, yeah, it's embroidered. It has like this patch on the side. It's not quite vintage because it does say 2006 on it, but it is a cool older Lee sport tag, which I like yeah. that tag. So it's just a size large, although it seems kind of, I don't know, I would say oversized because I wouldn't normally fit in a large and I think I could fit in this, so. Yeah, it's a nice shirt. I'm going to probably list, well, I think I actually already listed this one mm. just last night. I think I listed it, maybe 25 to 30 plus ship. We'll see how it goes. Uh, this is just Talbots, which I would normally not pick up, but this was new with tag, and the retail price on it was $179. It's a linen blend, so that was another reason I grabbed it, and then the gingham yeah. is a great fall piece so i think it'll do okay um definitely nowhere close to the 179 right. i think i can get 40 to 50 plus ship out of that i saw a couple comps on ebay in the 40 50 dollar range so we'll see i hope yeah just a random thing i just saw it hanging on the rack i like gingham print to begin with so it kind of caught my eye <laughs> So does Reese. Well, he, that's that's Buffalo, isn't it? Because yeah, it's bigger. Yeah, Buffalo. <laughs> uh, these we found up at the Woodland Park one. We found a lot of new attack stuff at that one yeah. randomly, and like it was all half or thirty percent off, which means it I don't sat know. there for a while. Yeah, I'm like, who didn't buy these? Well, these I understood. <laughs> these I think were priced at fifteen, so I got them for like seven fifty. Yeah. Which the retail price was forty five, so it's not going to be a huge flip, but they'll definitely sell. These are just some Columbia men's fleece pants, and they're a size three X. So. I like selling bigger sizes. And this I got at Salvation Army, but it's also new with tag. It's cool. Poncho. Yeah, it's a cool poncho. Hooded poncho. I've never heard of this brand, but Kathmandu Imports. Maybe yeah. Kathmandu? I don't know. Kat yeah, I don't know. It's cool though. Uh, it doesn't really have a size, so I would say one size, although. I would not say one size past like a large, <laughs> so maybe like a small to a large, depending on yeah. how you like the fit. I did measure it. I already listed this. Um, it was basically like 27 across the chest and like 27 long, so 
definitely not one size fits all, but yeah. <laughs> I feel like that pocket would be like on my chest if I yeah. put that on. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, these are some Jordan men's shorts, which I didn't even realize they were new with tag till I was at checkout, but they were already half off, I think. So I grabbed them at that Woodland Park one. And yeah, these, I think I can get 30, 35 plus ship out of those um, pretty easily. This I grabbed solely based on the color and it was new with tag, but I don't know if I would have grabbed it if it wasn't new with tag. It's just the brand Natural Reflections, which I think maybe sold at like Bass Pro or something like mm. that. The retail price on it is 35, but I feel like they always have sales and stuff at those kind of stores. So I don't know. This is just a really nice ball color. So yeah, I grabbed it. It's a size large. It has modal, modal. The fabric content is part modal. Modal. Is that how you see it. Anyways, anytime this fabric is in anything, it's just so soft and like kind of stretchy. Well, the stretchy is the spandex, but it's a very nice soft <laughs> shirt, so I think it'll do well. All right, and then this was also at that Woodland Park location, another new with tag. These are just some men's Dickies denim overalls. They're at 36, 32. Um, I Those are big. That, yeah. Well, they're not tall. that big of a size. Yeah, like tall. 36, 32s, but they just seem really long. Um, I guess they might just look long because yeah. they're bibs, but. Yeah, I think I can get 40 or so plus shipping out of these. That's pretty nice. Um, this is something I just bought for crisp. Oh, no, not this one. There's another one that looks just like this that I bought for crisp. This one I bought because I thought it was nice. This is the brand. The Gizming. turtleneck. Yeah, so it's like a made in Italy wool turtleneck sweater. I looked it over very well because wool, it sneaks up on you all these little tiny holes. Yeah. So if you're going to buy it at the thrift, especially if they don't take returns, the store does not check your stuff really well. I did not see a single hole, although I'm sure I will once I put it under the photo lights. So hopefully not. Um, yeah, I don't know. These This is a size 38, so it says made in Austria. I don't really know how to convert that, so I'll have to figure that out. Mm. But yeah, it's a nice wool. It's a softer wool. I think it's a merino wool, so I think I can. Most wool sweaters you can get at least like 30 bucks for plus shipping, so. It's got this little emblem down here. Yeah. Metal, yeah. So it's definitely quality doesn't necessarily mean a whole lot in retail right. always, but I think it'll do okay. Uh, these are just some cute little vintage Oshkosh overalls. These are, <laughs> oh, I already said vintage. A lot of people always ask, how can I tell it's vintage? Um, the main way, well, this is a paper tag. Like it's usually that's an older tag. They don't really do those anymore. Mm -hmm. And then this says made in the USA. This also has a union workers tag on it. So hmm. just, a few different ways. So if it's made in the USA, is that a... Um, for Oshkosh, at least, for sure. Yeah. That's a vintage thing. Um, I so, yeah, look for those things. The paper tag, union yeah. made, made in the USA. Um, I mean, they're not going for a ton anymore. Like, even the florals and stuff that were going right. for over 100 last year or not, really. But I'd still pick them up. They're usually a buck or two at the thrift. Like, I think these were 99 cents, so... I would still pick them up. Um, the vintage ones are still going in like the 20 to 30 plus ship range. And I still even pick up the more modern ones mm -hmm. and they sell for 15 to 18 or so plus ship. So for a buck, I'll take that pretty much any day. So, yeah. And they're small. So they, they are cheap to ship. Yes. They're <laughs> easy to store in our inventory. Yep. We like doing kids clothes because. Yeah. And you're not out a whole lot. If yeah. you take a month or two to right. sell, you're only out a buck, but then you profit. Fifteen dollars off of a dollar yeah. investment. So. And there's not a lot of competition when it comes to kids' clothes. That's true. So when you're a reseller. <laughs> That's true. Um, these are Matilda Jane, the collaboration they did with Joanna Gaines. Um, just a cute little overall, size six to twelve month. I was gonna list these yesterday, but I noticed I didn't notice this when I bought them. Kind of like some almost like bleach staining around the. Oh, I the see. The buttons. Bit, yeah. I feel like you won't see it much when they're closed. I don't think it'll. Oh, okay, there's some here too. Well, yeah. thankfully these were like a buck, but yeah, I'm still gonna sell them and just show it. So I probably could have got 25 or so out of those, maybe now 15 or 20, we'll see. 
Uh, this is another vintage Oshkosh, although this isn't denim, it's just like a cotton. Again, you can see that says made in the USA. And yeah, that's about it. I don't think yeah. they're, I don't know if this is a date. It says 81, it could be a date. Yeah. So yeah, just a cute little romper. I think I can get 20 to 25 plus ship out of that. And this I think was 50 cents, which is why I grabbed it. The brand is just Beth, Beth Terrell. I don't know. I think I've sold it once or twice. Um, I just Hard thought this see. was yeah. cute little toys. Oh, yeah, little nutcrackers on there. Yeah. Or not kind of or toy is that the same thing? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny that we both call it something differently and we're not sure. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just these little guys with the hats. <laughs> so, Soldiers. Yeah. Um, so yeah. What do you what do you guys think those are called? Uh, I think I can get fifteen to twenty out of that and it was fifty cents, so so something we found in Woodland Park as well. These are some men's L.L. Bean, like wool pants. Like yeah. they're so heavy duty. Um, Gray. It they looks got like the they originally had suspenders, but they didn't Suspender have the pants. They got the buttons there for them. Yeah, the knees are kind of like, you can see getting worn in. Although like the comps we saw on these, there was some 40 plus and already sold. Yeah in worse condition and also missing suspenders and everything so it's a little hard to see on camera i yeah. think it looks a little worse in in person but yeah i don't think it's super bad yeah it's not bad yeah so i wanted to give them a try i thought that they would do well so we shall see hoping for at least 40 plus ship out of those these are also from that store they're men's polo ralph lauren chinos new it tag although we did i think see like a spot Oh, it might have just been lighting at the store. So I'll see. Like on the back of one of the legs, looked oh, like it was almost like a grease or spot or something. Oh yeah, here right it is. There, yeah. It's not a bad. And these were like two fifty because they were like half off. So I figured that was worth it. They're a big size, forty four tall, forty four by thirty six, and they're tall. So I think two fifty. They'll still. I mean, pre owned ones are selling for thirty plus. So even with a tiny flaw, I think it'll be fine. Also found, oh no, this is not this. This was kind of cool. This cool, although yeah. I was photographing this last night and I noticed, I don't know if it's just because it's old, but almost around the whole print is like greasy looking. You see that? Just kind of like. That might be from the. Just the just this and stuff. Yeah, I see what you're I mean, you're it's saying. definitely old. You can see it better on the camera, how like it's outlined. Yeah. That might just be the, the way they transfer that on there or something. Maybe it got burnt. Yeah, but it's definitely vintage, so it's dated 96. It is that Stockley Sport, so it's pretty cool. Made in the USA. I think even with that, it'll still sell just fine. It's got the old Broncos logo too, so yeah. it's... So I thought that was cool. Worst case, I think I can fit it, and I don't, we don't really watch football, but right. if we ever have to or go to a game or watch a game. Did you find this one, I think, maybe? I don't know. Uh, just maybe. Columbia PFG. I just like selling these. Yeah. Just a men's large. Um, I mean, this was actually $6.99, so that's more than I'd like to pay, but they sell frequently, but right around $25 plus ship, so. Yeah. And always, like, the sell-through on these is really good. Yeah, I wish I was my size, because I, I love the them. PFG <laughs> vented back shirts. Yeah, I found him one for 15 free ship on the Facebook the other oh, that black one, yeah. yeah. So I've always on the lookout because yeah. they're harder to find in the like two X. Yeah, if sizes. you don't want, if you want to spend sixty bucks, you could find them all yeah. day long. <laughs> but so, I don't like spending like sixty spending bucks on shirts. Than 20, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know we went and bought like me new shirts uh, a couple weeks ago, and I was like, oh my gosh, thirty bucks for Even like a new Target, shirt. If you go into Target, <laughs> like a nice, not even night nice, up. Uh, yeah. A cheapy sweater is like 35 bucks. Yeah. I'm like, I'll just go to the thrift right. store. Uh, this is kind of cool. It's School of Mines, which is a really Up in cool, nice Colorado. school in Colorado. Yeah. Smarty school. <laughs> it is champion, so I thought that was cool. Um, college sweatshirts seem to be trending right now. This is kind of winterish though, yeah. so obviously more Christmas. Try to get it sold quick. Yeah, so I this I saw some I don't know if I'd call it staining. Just, it's dirty, so I'm gonna wash this one. Mm -hmm. I don't wash everything. Um, 
that comes from a normal. I do wash stuff when I go to the bins, but when I go to a normal thrift, I don't wash it unless I see something that needs washed. So yeah. this does, so it'll get washed. It's a 2X. I think I can get 30 or so plus shipping out of that once it's cleaned up. That could be even something that we try to sell locally just because there's a bigger following around us. Like we know but people who go there. And people locally are going to want to pay what they're... That's true. What college sweatshirts are worth. So that's Plus they could just go get a new one <laughs> pretty easily. So like right now when I'm saying like college sweatshirts are trending, it doesn't even seem to be the college you're in. It's just like, like right. high schoolers wearing college sweatshirts and stuff, I think. So yeah. Yeah. Um, these are just the brand Hey Hagar, Hagar. So just like a cheapy, I don't even know, where maybe Kohl's or something. Kohl's or Target I'm or pretty one sure of those. These were half off. So they were three fifty. That's the only reason I got them. Honestly, this is bread and butter for us. Yeah. Uh, they sell well all the time. Um, not for a ton. These will probably sell for around twenty dollars plus shipping. But yeah, you've done pretty good with good those cremeu pants. That's true. Those new tag ones. <laughs> I wish this was Coogie or Coogie <laughs> or however you say that, but it's not. But it gave me the vibes, yeah. and I've sold several sweaters that give me the vibes of it for the thirty dollar range. Um, it is a wool bun, so. This is the brand Tassani. I don't, I didn't look it up. I just bought it just because it will definitely sell. Did this say Canada on there? Did it? Yeah, it might be yeah. made in Canada. Yeah. Cool. So I definitely, it feels, the tag feels vintage. It seems like vintage. It has like these faux wood looking buttons. I think it's a cool sweater. Um, yeah. I mean, these kinds of sweaters are, even if it wasn't like this kooky vibes type thing, uh, these kinds of sweaters just sell well, old grandpa cardigans and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna hope for 30 plus, maybe 40 plus, we'll see. Uh, this again, I just grabbed because it's a nice little sweater. Uh, this looks like a Norwegian, Oleana, the Norwegian story. I don't know. This actually is missing a size. So I'm going to have to go by measurements, which I do not like doing. But the comps on this brand was really good. Like, like some over 100 really good. Mm, but wow. if I got 50, I'd probably be happy. Yeah, is it 100% so wool? Was, uh, it is 100% wool. Just don't know what size. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I feel like most Norway. people would want to check measurements anyway. So, yeah. And it's definitely like a larger size. It's probably like an XL, 1X, yeah. maybe 2X. But um, I do think sometimes people like them bigger, oversized anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, um, probably lower end of comps because it's missing a size. But I'm excited about that one. The, this, this, this other sweater I got randomly. So when I drive to the faraway post office on Saturdays, there's a little store I like to check out that I pretty much only go there on Saturdays. I haven't been there in over a month, so they had restocked. And I nice. normally just look for shoes, but I don't think I found any shoes that day, but I found a bunch of nice sweaters. Yeah. They said they're putting out jackets soon, so I need to go back probably this weekend. Found this there too, though. This is a nice Masters. Oh, Masters, yeah. Yeah, a nice fleece. I didn't really see any flaws. I mean, some lint, I need a lint roll, but. Just really, really simple black shape. fleece, yeah. yeah. Um, size large. I don't know. I sold that polo for what, 70 bucks or something on Posh? Yeah. I don't know if fleeces are as popular because I feel like the polos are what you wear to actually go golfing in and stuff. And yeah, but if it's chilly, you need a little uh, fleece. True. So yeah, I'm hoping for a good amount on this, but I mean, Masters is a good brand all around. I would definitely pick it up if you see this little. Yeah, the little <laughs> American map yeah, with a flag. tag. It's usually like green. Yeah. So. Right. We've sold two things from Masters, and they both sold for, <laughs> yeah. like, more than we expected. <laughs> so, sure. I have a pair of shorts right now. I just listed, but I didn't realize when I bought them, they were actually pants that got cut off. Oh, and yeah, yeah. into shorts, but the measurements all add up to the right right size, so hopefully someone still buys them for, like, 15, 20 bucks. Um, this brand I've sold one other time, although I think I way undersold the one I sold before. It's Comfy USA. This brand retails for a ton. This is probably over $100 new. I don't get it. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. It's like a stretchy cardigan. Looks comfy. It does look comfy. <laughs> I'm debating keeping it, but I have a similar one. And I like money more than things. So, yeah. This, I think I can get 40 50 maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, if you ever see this brand, definitely check comps. 
I think the plus sizes in it do even better. So this mm. is a large, although I think I could fit this. So it's probably a little bit of an oversized yeah, large. Yeah, it's an oversized fit. All right, these are kind of a cool find. I found at Play-Dohs, which I overpaid for them at $14, but they're Nike ACG. I did look them up and all the ones listed and sold were new. These are not, although I didn't see a single flaw in them when I looked them over, so. I would say very good condition, minus some of Reese's hair that will get off, but. <laughs> that is an interesting color, yeah, too. It's kind of like a sherbet green. Yeah, so pretty much anything Nike ACG I would look up. I normally sell the shoes, obviously. I, I've i sold a couple tops, I think. But yeah, Nike ACG, I don't think they make the ACG stuff anymore. I'm not sure. I, I think they don't make them anymore. So that could be it. But yeah, the, <coughs> excuse me. The comps on these were between 60 to 80, but those again were the new with tag pairs. So I don't know if I can have the only ones in this size listed. There's not very many listed. I think there was less than 10 total listed, mm -hmm. but there was a new with tag pair in a size large listed and that's what I have here. So might wait for those to sell and then list mine or just list mine a little bit, obviously lower, but yeah. I don't know. I think I can get at least 40, which that's not huge profit at a $14 buy cost, but I think this is like a cool item that will definitely sell. I'm not really worried about it not selling anything. Right. So. Um, so this is Tommy Bahama. This is the one I bought for Chris, but I don't remember. You either didn't want it. I think I tried it on and it was a little too tight on me. <laughs> oh, I remember. It was too short on you. Oh, short, yeah. It was just like a belly shirt. <laughs> uh, well, so yeah. to be fair, every shirt I put on is a belly shirt <laughs> yeah. nowadays. <laughs> um, uh. So yeah, it's just a nice, uh, quarter zip pullover. It is in a larger size. It's a 3X, although I do think it's just short in general. I don't know if that means it's shrunk or just we're used to buying you like tall or something, <laughs> but I don't know. I think it'll still sell. Tommy Bahama's not great anymore, but I think I paid less than five bucks for this, hoping to get like 20 plus shipping out of that. All right, this is Soft Surroundings. I wish this was my size because I love it. Just a plain blue, like zip up, like a Sherpa type fleece, size medium. I'm gonna wash that because it has some lint in it. But I like that gold zipper. Yeah, that's nice. It stands out, that's cool. It's really, really soft. So. I have a similar one I bought off Posh recently and I love it. So yeah, um, I don't know, 35, 40 maybe, hopefully out of that. All right, this is something Chris found. It's just Carhartt, just a thermal. Shirt, nothing amazing, but it has the logo. These, when you like list a shirt like this, use the, it does have a little there. bit of yeah. uh, water spots, but I don't know, Carhartt seems to sell no matter what terrible shoe. Yeah. So it's just one of those brands right now. Um, but yeah, if you list something like this, use the keywords thermal, waffle knit, things yeah. like that. That should sell, I think at least 20 bucks plus shipping. This, I'm. Just thought it was so cool. That is cool, yeah. <laughs> um, Let's get a good look at it. So the brand is just the Eagle's Eye. It is dated 1994. Wow. It is a wool blend. Look at this sweater. <laughs> so, <laughs> so is it like a, like a fall? It's like a farm, yeah. Sta fruit stand or something. So got a apples, pig here. Yeah, pig. Is clouds. this a cornucopia or something? Oh, those are apple barrels. And then even the backside. Like a cart. That's such a cool sweater. This is like the perfect sweater to go picking apples <laughs> That's in. That's true. <laughs> Maybe I should wear it, get some good pictures of me wearing it, and then sell it. Yeah, we live, uh, <laughs> I don't know, about a couple hours away from Penrose, Colorado, which has a lot of apple orchards and. Yeah. Um, yeah, they yeah, have like a big apple <laughs> festival and stuff that we <laughs> go to. Yeah. It's sad we haven't been to that since. COVID. I know, COVID. COVID, you ruined everything. <laughs> All right. That is um, a cool sweater, though. Yeah, so it's a women's large. I don't know what to expect out of that. I mean, I would think at least $30 plus shipping. It's kind of heavy, so shipping might be a lot. Hopefully, it sells on Posh or something. But yeah, I couldn't leave that. This I kind of just got for myself, but I haven't even tried it on. I might sell it. I don't know. If I do, it won't sell for a ton. It's just a Columbia pullover i'm pretty sure it's men's although this is like one of my favorite colors to wear like a burgundy yeah so uh yeah if i sell it it'll probably go 15 to 20 bucks plus shipping but i might try that on that's just what i like to wear around the house just to kind of laze around 
All right. Do you ever just laze around though? <laughs> laze around and do my things. Laze I mean, around while working. Sitting at my butt at my computer seat is basically <laughs> lazing around, even if I'm doing work. All right. Um. So this I've heard. I think I originally heard it from Rally Roots Rain Spooner. Never found it before. So we found two of them this day. Yeah. Just some nice floral button downs, both XLs. This funny one we found, I was like, oh cool, I think Chris found it in the men's. Then we were looking through the women's, and then I found this one, so they must have thought it was right. women's, but. They're both men's. Guessing they're donated by the same person because they're both XLs and similar shirts. Um, I think these will go for around 30 plus shipping each, so we'll see. Um, again, I don't wash everything, but I noticed these kind of have like a musty smell, so mm. I'm gonna wash those too. And Chris found this one, Robert Graham. I was on a roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was at this little downtown thrift. It was the same one I went to at my jury duty hall, right. where I found all those really good shoes and a couple other things. I made a lot of money from that jury duty hall. Yeah. And yeah, this time we didn't even stay that long because you have to pay for it's the meter, meter parking. Yeah. And usually where you have like a bucket change in our car, which gives you maybe an hour. So, um, yeah. So we were only in there less than an hour and we found some pretty good stuff. We'll definitely probably make a few hundred bucks off what we found. Yeah. This is a men's XL. I don't think Robert Graham's doing quite as well as it was when I first started reselling, but they it's have kind these of a neat pattern. Cuffs. Yeah, and it has like an embroidery on the back. So I think oh, yeah. I can pull probably at least 30 bucks out of that. So yeah, that is our very I think long there's haul. the hat that fell down. Oh, there was a lot of these hats this day. Chris showed me some, and if we know, put a couple the back, the hats at the store are only ninety nine cents. So, yeah, there was several by this brand, which is just I think Wigwam. Wigwam. Wigwam, made in the USA, just like an acrylic. I don't know. I thought this was cool. Gosh, I can't remember. Okay, this print thingy is reminding me. I cannot think of the name. So if you can think of it, tell me. I don't want to say the wrong thing, but I think it's like a big trend, like a Korean trend right now that, gosh, it's like sweaters that look kind of like this, but they have like teddy bears on them and stuff, like hmm. pastel -y teddy and bear gray. sweaters. I don't <laughs> even know if it's just teddy bears. Um, I think it has something to do with a Korean band that made it popular. I just, I don't know. Oh, that, that big K-pop. It might be something to do with K-pop. Is There's a. I'm trying to remember what the band's name. It's like some letters. I don't even know if it has to do with that, but if you know what I'm talking about, I've been trying to Google it and I cannot figure it out. I've been googling <laughs> like uh, teddy bear pastel sweater things like that. Um, I know I saw it in one of my Facebook groups a couple months back, but it reminded me of that kind of vibe going on. Yeah. We're so behind the ball so, yeah. in, in pop culture love yes. of Thankfully, of recent... I watched lots of people's Instagram stories and YouTube. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd never know what's cool and what's not. So. Yeah, I do think there is a big, very popular K-pop yes, band right now. Yes, but if you right find now. the sweaters, those sweaters go for, I think, over 100 bucks because they're just popular right now. Like, yeah. They're just vintage Trendy. sweaters, but just the vibe of it is what's... So, yeah. Anyways, this hat, I think I can get 15, 20 bucks out of plus shipping. There were several others. This one even is a little dingy which I didn't notice in the lighting in that store. I might have passed on it, but yeah. So cool. <laughs> so that's everything that we found. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah, quite a quite a bit that we went through here. Lots of shoes and lots of cool clothes. Let us know what you guys think down in the description below. So this was a little bit of a longer video. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.